so good. Thank you for joining me for another paper card reading. So today's reading is what do they want from you? Uh, so we have three groups. Oh yeah, this doesn't have to be, you know, romance related. Uh, so if romantic messages, you know, do come out and you're not asking about a romantic connection, then feel free to just throw those messages away, you know? But yeah, so we have three groups for you to choose from today. Group one, group two, and group three. <laughs> if you want to pause the video to choose whichever group is calling out to you, feel free to do so. Uh, but I shall see you in your reading. Hey there, you very beautiful people. I hope you all are so good. If you chose this here, Amethyst Crystal, then this reading may be for you. So the person on your mind, what is it that they want from you? So we have, oh, oh, <laughs> you what? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So we have four of wands upright. We have the nine of cups upright and we have the emperor upright. Honestly, when I see spreads like this, it genuinely makes my heart happy. <laughs> So what is it that they want from you for those of you who chose this group? I'm feeling all teary and shit, like I don't know, maybe... Ah. Anyways, okay, let's go. So I feel like this person wants security from you or with you. Um, I'm hearing like knowing that we're good, okay? So I don't know what that can mean for some of you guys, but um, yeah, so for some of you this person what they want from you is marriage for um platonic connections i feel like they could want your loyalty um they want for you to be their wish fulfillment uh they want you to be more independent so that you can take care of yourself more and um, perhaps be more self-serving to yourself as well and put yourself first for others it's so that you can spend more time with them um you know say for example you have like a lot of responsibilities or uh, you know, you just got a lot of stuff on your plate. They could want you to be independent from those things. But say, for example, um, I don't know, like if any of you like live with your parents or something and you just didn't have much privacy or not even living with your parents or you just lived in an environment where there wasn't much privacy, they could, um, you know, want you to find independence in regards to that. Not only, you know, for their own benefit, but, um, you know, so that you can look after yourself as well. But I do sense with others of you, they would want to spend more time with you. Um, like, I, you know, with all of these cards, it's like success, 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 two fours as well. What does that mean? Two fours and five. Anyways. So, yeah, this person wants for you both to be more comfortable with each other or just to be comfortable with each other in a general sense. Um, but yeah, this person wants you to achieve whatever it is that you need to achieve. So I don't know if any of you have, you know, some big goals right now, you know, with these beautiful cards as well. Like it's just, you know, powerhouse right now, you know. So for some of you, yeah, they want you to achieve what it is you need to achieve. They want you to focus on you to a certain degree, you know. Um, and for the most, they want you know want to support you through this it doesn't feel like being active it doesn't feel like i'm actually you know physically supporting you but it's like i'm here whenever you need me type of energy as opposed to like i'm going to be in your grill you know 24 7 trying to support you like it doesn't feel like that it just feels like i'm here if you need me type of thing you know um but this person what they want from you they want to celebrate you or they want to celebrate with you. For some of you, I'm hearing like they want an invite from you. Um, they want to share a home with you as well. For some of you, this is in regards to like building something long term with one another. For others of you, this could be completely like irrelevant, you know, and it could be they want to share a home with you for different reasons, okay? So I'm, already, I'm also hearing for some of you, like, invite me into your community. So for some of you, what they want from you is for you to invite them into your community, perhaps your family. Um, but yeah, this person, what they want from you, they want 
for you to lay down roots like i don't know if this is just important for some of you at this moment in time in your life where you're just really focused on creating a strong foundation for yourself achieving something whether this be educational you know work wise or personal but this person wants for you to lay down roots for your future uh for your future success you know for you know further achievements as well um for your home for family for them too but they definitely want you to focus on yourself you know i'm hearing like be the boss that you want to be or that you are you know um but yeah this person they want for you to be confident in regards to spotting lies or manipulation for some of you they do see you as vulnerable to this energy and they want for you to protect yourself uh, from that kind of energy as well um not a lot of you though but this person could want for you to put them on a pedestal what they want from you is long-term commitment you know um, I'm hearing like let's go out let's have fun and let's get a little bit twisted you know like this person they could want to take you out on a date or just enjoy good vibes and good times with you you know um for some of you it's like I'm hearing like will you do me this honor like you know this they really wanna I don't me see them like it doesn't even feel like romance in you it just feels like genuinely enjoying each other's freaking company you know like no pretenses none of that you know nonsense it's just like genuinely you know enjoying each other's company and not doing things for you know aesthetic you know not doing things for the sake of it like oh this is what we're supposed to be doing so like let's do it like no like we're gonna have fun and that's the only motive you know um but yeah <laughs> oh my heart i literally cannot even with this reading okay <laughs> so for some of you uh this person they want for you to allow them to treat you like royalty okay so yeah they could want to treat you like royalty just treat you like you're special because yo if this is how this person is seeing you right now they have no option but to treat you as special do you know what i mean it's like why would someone with this energy accept any less you know so this person wants you to see and understand how special they find you how special you should find yourself you know um oh I'm... <laughs> this reading is so sweet i literally cannot oh okay um uh okay so yeah this person they could want for you both to please each other if you know what i mean <laughs> um they want you both to enjoy each other's company as well and have fun um but they want you to be their wish fulfillment this person wants to share in your in your prosperity and in your success and your achievements you know i have to say this is very beautiful energy but for some of you you will have to use your discernment and this is not for everyone at all you know um but for example uh like for example this could be someone who wants you to be successful for their own benefit okay but i feel like that's only going to be the case for those of you who are maybe asking about non uh non-romantic uh, connections like uh, platonic connections if you know what i mean um or even familiar connections if any of you came here asking for that so it's like i could read this i could you know resonate with two different people but for two different reasons like one might be a bit you know not negative but you know you know what i'm saying but yeah uh, but you know that's not for everyone though so um you know definitely don't take that message if it doesn't resonate but yeah this person wants um you to know or understand that you can depend on them uh when or if you need to um this person wants you both to protect each other this person wants you both to be each other's safe haven in a way you know um for some of you this person you know really wants for you to protect yourself and to not be so open it really worries them when you are you know super open like i don't know if any of you 
like you could be literally nice to you know everyone and anyone like you could be a very accepting person and if you do resonate with that and if your person sees that in you then they definitely want you to be a bit more discerning with who you know you share your beautiful energy with okay who you share your time with um <clears throat> So for some of you, this person could want for you to control them, um, maybe to be more consistent as well. Let me see. So yeah, I wanted to clarify where they wanted you to be more consistent. But yeah, for the most part, it could be they want you to be more consistent in regards to them. Um, but yeah. For some of you, I'm hearing like this person wants for you to see them as a protector or they want you to trust that they will protect you if, you know, if it, if they ever had to. But yeah, they want you to see a long-term future with them. Um, they want you both to dominate each other. And I'm going to leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, this person, they want you to be all they need. If that makes sense. Like this person really does want for you to be their dream come true. Their wish fulfillment, you know? Um For some of you, this person wants for you to be like their family, like their home, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, like for some of you, if you are asking about a romantic connection, then I'm definitely getting power couple vibes, you know. Um, it's like, let's be successful AF, but together, you know, even if that means like we're super independent. What is that called? Isn't it called? I think it's called interconnected. I don't know. It's like, I don't, I, I'm going to have to search this up afterwards. But it's like when you're both independent, but it's like you're still a unit. Like for some of you, that's what they want from you. Um, but yeah. So for some of you, only take this if it resonates. But for some of you, this person could want you to be a father figure. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so for some of you, they could want for you to be a father figure or authoritative. Um, this feels like in a general sense, so, okay. Okay, so what do they want from you? <laughs> oh my god, one second. Okay, so what do they want from you? So the first card we have is Moldavite, and it says here, unconvention Unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. So what do they want from you? <laughs> so what i'm hearing is that this person wants for you to be okay with having a relationship that is non-traditional or having a connection that is non-traditional okay so whether this be a friendship family relationship romantic relationship this person wants you to be okay with it being different to what other people's relationships may look like you know so they do really want you both to appreciate the the uniqueness of your connection the uniqueness of you two coming together maybe for some of you it is an opposites attract kind of situation maybe different cultures you know different values different personalities i don't know you know um but this person wants for you both to be okay with that like it's okay i'm me and it's okay that you're you and it's okay that our relationship looks different from other people's you know and we just need to you know roll with it um but yeah <clears throat> So we also have Jade. We have two beautiful green cards. So this person really does want to connect to your heart space. Like, I really feel that. Um, yeah, this person really does want for you to open your heart to them. Um, but yeah, okay. 
so okay we have here wellness the recovery of health and wellness is here so what do they want from you Do you know what, bottom line for this card, I feel like they want you to take care of yourself, you know, whether that be taking, um, you know, care, taking care of your health. Uh, for some of you, they do see you as vulnerable in some way uh, in terms of protecting yourself from, you know, outside influences, people who, people or situations that may not be the best for you. They could want you um, to heal in that regards. But this person just wants for you to be healthy, like mentally, physically. Uh, on all levels, you know, they just want you to be good. <clears throat> for some of you though, I'm here and they want for you to be the one to recover um, the connection that you have with them, but only take that if it resonates. So what do they want from you? I want to see you smile, okay? I want to see that beautiful smile. <laughs> Okay, what do they want from you? So with this card, I'm actually hearing that this person just wants you to know that they fucking... Sorry, excuse my language. That's how they feel though. They feel aggressive about it. Like you're literally so freaking beautiful, you know? Um, this person wants you to uh, be confident. Like I don't know if any of you are, you know, not so confident i don't know but this person just wants you to realize like fully realize and appreciate how flipping special and beautiful you are and they want for you to know that you have beautiful smile and beautiful eyes okay <laughs> okay so we also have here i'm so used to flying solo what do they want from me If any of you are used to flying solo, they want you to get used to uh, the opposite. Like, they want you to get used to not being solo. Yo, this reading has me in my feelings. <laughs> so we also have you want to be on my team. And you know what? That's how I see the Four of Wands card sometimes. It's like teamwork, make the dream work, you know? So for some of you, what they want from you is... Uh, to be on your team, to be a team with you. For some of you, I'm hearing, like, together we would just be stronger, you know? Mm. You know, not saying that you're not strong on your own. I'm not saying I'm not strong on my own. But together we can take over the whole world, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. So, what do they want from you? So, we also have here, I've done things I'm not proud of. For some of you, I'm hearing this person wants you f to forgive them. Uh, they could even want you to forgive them for discrepancies that probably had nothing to do with you, but they don't... They want you to... For some of you, I'm hearing they want you to understand that they've changed. They want you to understand that they're not proud of certain things that they've done. Um, yeah. And I'm hearing, like, if you can't forgive me, like, can I at least have, you know, some form of acceptance from you, you know? Yeah, Ace of Cups at the bottom. Okay, so we also have I want you forever. So what do they want from you? They want you forever, okay? No, for some of you, they really do want to you know, build long-term with you or create something long-term with you, you know? So we also have here, I know. What you know, huh? What you know. <laughs> Not joking, what you know? Oh, okay. <clears throat> so I know, and we've got the Ten of Swords. So for some of you, this person... They want you to know that they understand certain things that you've been through, certain painful endings that you may have been through as well. Um, they want you to know um, that they know that maybe you've been betrayed or you've just been not treated the best. And they want you to know that they acknowledge that. Ooh. 
Ooh, I'm hearing the opposite for some of you. This person wants, what they want from you is for you to know um, about some of the stuff that have gone down in their life. You know, some of the painful endings that they have experienced. I'm hearing for some of you, it would bring like some form of uh, further understanding, clear up any misconceptions. Um, but yeah, this person, what they want from you is to to know the truth about something or just about their past. You know, why they move, how they move, you know. I'm hearing stuff that they maybe haven't even told anyone before. Okay, so what do they want from you? So we have, I'm not with all the drama. So yeah, they don't, when I was clarifying five of ones, they don't want any drama, you know. So yeah, that's what they want from you is no drama. Like harmony love balance you know what i'm saying you know that's all i want from you so we also have here opposites attract so this person wants you to know why do i keep saying that that's not even the reason we're doing today <laughs> what do they want from you I just feel like I don't even feel like this is something that they want from you um, or something you want from them it's just they just kind of feel like this is an opposite to track kind of situation you know whether you guys be very different from each other physically mentally emotionally uh, this person finds it beautiful though your differences for some of you I'm hearing this all, like in regards to this this person just wants to you got um, to be cool or accepting of uh, both of you, you know, your differences in this connection. So we also have nothing will stand in my way. So what do they want from you, the Emperor card? So yeah, this person, they want for you to be strong, clarified by the uh, King of Cups at the bottom. So yeah, they want you to be strong in regards to this connection. I'm hearing, yeah, let's not let anything stand in our way. But they want for you to take on that energy. Maybe they want for you to be the more aggressive one in terms of not letting anything stand in the way of either your success or, you know, this connection in some way. Um, so we have here, please don't say no, please say yes. What do they want from you? So this person wants for you to say yes and to not say no in regards to something. So for some of you, this person doesn't want you to reject them because of their disadvantages. For some of you, they don't want you to reject them. Maybe, you know, it was the justice card reverse. So it could be in regards to legal issues. Uh, it could be in regards to... For some of you, it's in regards to marriage, you know, I'm not going to lie. I don't know. If that resonates for your situation, this person could really... Yeah, I want to marry you. Or if you are already married, they could want to, you know, you know, recover yeah, if it has been a bit rocky between you both. So we also have this connection for, will forever affect me. What do they want from me? So this person, they want, <laughs> um, they want, what do they want from you? They want for you to have them under your skin, if that makes sense. Like that's how much they want for you to want them. They want you to feel them underneath your skin. I hope that makes sense, you know, but yeah. So we also have animalistic. <laughs> when I was clarifying, the devil um, came out. So yeah, this person is trying to get it in, okay? And that's what they want from you. They do want to be intimate with you. Oh my god, get it? Okay, so we have, can I be that person? Like, yeah, this person wants to be your person. Like, that's what they want from you. It's like, can you accept me into your life in some way? For some of you, I'm hearing like, they want for you to integrate them into your life, into your community or, you know, into your home even. Um, 
But yeah, this person wants for you to allow them to be your person. So I don't know if any of you here are like, come on, we have the Emperor, we have the Nine of Cups. I don't know if any of you here are like super independent, you know. Um, but yeah, this person is like, I know you're, you know, all fiery and dope by yourself, but can I, you know, can you bring me in a little bit, you know? Anyway, so we also have wild thoughts. So what do they want from you? So this person wants you to be as enticed with them as they are with you, okay? And finally, we have I accept you for who you are. So what do they want from you? Oh, <laughs> you guys want to make me cry? So clarified by the Ace of Cups at the bottom. So this person just wants for you to know that they accept you for who you are, okay? But yeah, that's all I have for you. For those of you who chose this group, I hope this reading can resonate, be helpful, make sense. Uh, but I'm wishing you all the best on your journey moving forward, okay? Please take care of yourselves. Bye. Hey, you beautiful people who chose this here second group, this here crystal, then this reading may be for you. So the person on your mind, what is it that they are wanting from you, okay? What do they want from you? <clears throat> All right, so, okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles upright, Six of Swords upright, Five of Swords upright. So what do they want from you? All right, so what does this person want from you? So what this person wants from you is for you to be more consistent in regards to the attention that you give them. Um, they could want you to work hard for them. Uh, this could be figuratively or literally, like, um, you know, making more of an effort. For others of you, I mean, if it makes sense for your situation, they could want for you to work for them or work hard for them um, in regards to, like, actual work. I don't know. But yeah. But yeah, this person wants for you to be loyal to them. Um, this person wants you to be responsible for them in some way. But for others of you, I'm hearing to hold them responsible. Um, I'm hearing hold them responsible instead of ghosting them or, you know, limiting communication with them, you know. So, yeah. So, yeah, this person could want you to hold them responsible so it, it really does feel like this person wants you to hold them accountable. This could be, um, uh, for some of you, they want you to hold them accountable in regards to their cockiness, actually. Um, but for others of you, it's just in a general sense or um, a more specific area that you're more aware of. Um, but yeah, they want you to hold them more accountable. Um, this may not resonate for everyone, but they want you to be conservative in a way. But it doesn't feel like they want you to be conservative in a traditional way, if that makes sense. Like they want you to be traditional. It almost feels like they want for you to be uptight. Sorry about that. Yeah, so for some of you, uh, it almost feels like they want for you to be uptight, uh, but not in regards to them. This feels like in regards to a specific situation. Um, they want you to be their dream fulfilled okay for some of you this person wants for you to be ambitious but they also want for you to be patient with yourself like they don't want for you to rush or pressure yourself or put too yeah rush or yeah put too much pressure on yourself um so for some of you what this person wants from you is to build mutual trust um, they want for you to heal and move on from trauma or from something that happened in the past. This person does want stability and balance with you or between, you know, between you both. They want to overcome the challenges. This could be personal or it could be within your connection as well. I feel like for some of you, this could even be referring to professional so yeah for some of you they want you to overcome your own professional oopsie your own like uh professional challenges
So yeah, this person could also want for you to ask them for support or ask them for help, maybe even advice. So this person could want you to move on from the past of this connection as well. If things have been, you know, pretty up and down um, or slightly unhealthy even, you know, between you and this person, um, then they want for you to either move on from them. So yeah, with the Six of Swords, it's like, you know, some people do interpret it as like, you know, fully moving on from a person or a connection. But for me, it's just like moving on for your most highest good, for your most peaceful good, right? So it's like no matter what direction you decide to take, um, it's like in a peaceful direction or a direction where there's, you know, healing or recovery. Um, but yeah, so for some of you, this person either wants for you to move on from them or you know to recover the connection if, if if that's a possibility for you both you know or friendship or whatever it is um that you're asking about so yeah they could want for you to come up for, come up with a solution in regards to fixing the you know issues and stuff like that within your connection okay so they could also want you to heal feelings of being deflated or feeling apathetic. This could be in a general sense or in regards to this person or the connection you share with them. Um, but for others of you, though, they want you to feel this way. They want you to feel deflated or apathetic. And hear me out, OK? But for some of you, if this resonates anyway, when you are in like a deflated kind of healing, resting kind of energy, um they feel you are less guarded or less intimidating you know so that could be the reason for some of you guys uh what else yeah for some of you this person really wants you to heal the connection you both have or to make an effort to you know this person wants you to be aggressive in regards to them as well they they want you to surrender the need to fight them or the need to fight or surrender a conflict uh, this could be your personal life that's you know impacting you know your shared connection or it could be in regards to this connection that you maybe came here for today um well yeah for some of you they want for you to protect yourself by standing up for yourself or being assertive again this could definitely be in regards to them um and kind of just like for, for, you know what for some of you i'm not gonna lie i feel for some of you this person could want for you to like put them in their place a little bit you know um <laughs> okay so for some of you this this person wants um you know the the intimacy to be kinky kinky you know what i'm saying okay and i'm gonna leave it at that <laughs> um so yeah what do they want from you? So for some of you, this person really does want conflict resolution, you know, regardless of which direction that may take. Um, they just don't want to. Let me see. Like this person may, maybe doesn't want you both to be stuck, you know, um, or just having like not nice feelings for each trouble or kind of feeling you know conflict with the other person like this person just wants to heal that regardless of what that means moving forward you know um but yeah for some of you i'm hearing like they want you to be a little bit immoral in some way um this could be in regards to a chaotic situation, immoral. For some of you, I'm hearing like they want you to push your boundaries. I mean, it's like, say for example, you said, I am never going on a roller coaster, okay? This person <laughs> would want for you to be, even though, but roller coasters aren't immoral, so I can't compare it to that really, can I? So what's immoral? I, I can't think of an example, but I don't know. Only take that if it resonates, but um, yeah. But this could mean like um, 
uh, readjusting your boundaries to a certain degree, you know? Uh, but yeah, let's see what else we have. Whew. So what do they want from you? So we have here spiritual protection. It says here you are being watched over, protected physically, emotionally and energetically. So what do they want from you? So yeah, this person wants for you to protect yourself. They, they could want you to spiritually protect yourself. Um, you know, if they know you like that or if that even resonates for your situation, maybe like calling on your higher powers to protect you. For others of you, though, they, um, yeah, they just want you to protect your energy, protect your wealth, your emotions as well. For some of you that I'm hearing, like this person wants for you to watch over them. No, not while they're sleeping. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, so we also have value your self-worth. What do they want from you? So this person wants for you to love yourself more. This person wants you to value yourself more and um, just realize that you're flipping awesome and special and a fucking gem, you know? And um, they want you to recognize that, see that for yourself, you know? Like I'm hearing this person just wants you to trust that your source is saucy, like it's, it's, it tastes good, you know? Um, even if I haven't had any of your sauce yet, and I'm not talking about anything weird, I'm not talking about anything kinky, just like in a general sense, but this person wants you to have more confidence because you are phenomenal, okay? <laughs> uh, let's see what else we have. What do they want from you? So we have here, you are so strong, but I don't want you to do this alone. But you don't have to do this alone. So for some of you, this person could want for you to let them in, um let me be strong for you you know for some of you this person wants to be strong for you or just be a support in some degree you know this this group feels uh similar to the first group but the first group was so whimsical oh my gosh you know <laughs> like i literally saw fairies had music it was so beautiful but this this reading it feels more grounded in a way but it feels similar to the first group anyways Okay, so yeah. So we also have here potential. So what I'm actually hearing is that they want for you to see the potential in the connection that you both have. This may not resonate for everyone, but they also want you to see your own potential but that doesn't feel like a, in, a, in a broad sense, you know? So we also have surface level. What do they want from you? Yeah, they want to go below the surface with you. So if things have been very uh, surface level between you both, this person definitely wants to get deeper or they want for you to get deeper with them. Maybe they want for you to break the glass, you know, and crack the... Oh my God, this cat. um sorry about that yeah so we also have here childhood trauma so maybe this is the thing from the past that they want you to move on from not move on from but like heal and recover from for some of you so we also have my family doesn't approve actually let me get them so So for some of you, this person's family doesn't approve. Um, so with this card, what they want, if, okay, if any of you resonate with this person's family or friends not approving of you or the connection that you both share, this person doesn't want like the conflict to phase you. You know, they don't want it to break you down. They don't want it to hurt you. Um,
like for some of you it's almost like okay put on your thick skin now you know like this person is saying um to you or that's what they want for, from you you know to put on your thick skin because maybe maybe you two moving forward won't be the easiest or you'll just be met with you know opposition but this person um they want you to have like the energy for it you know if that makes sense like they want you to be okay with maybe you know having to deal with those challenges or those oppositions you know for some of you they could want you to um <laughs> for some of you they could want for you to make more of an effort with their family uh temperance reverse i mean upright so yeah they could want you for you to make more of an effort with their family or their friends um like they could want for you to change like the energy they have for you and i'm not saying that you should or shouldn't you know just do whatever's best for you um but yeah <clears throat> so we have down to fuck <laughs> so what do they want from you oh one second yeah, so they want for you to be um, up <laughs> for being intimate with them, okay? Uh, so we also have here, my mind is elsewhere. What do they want from me? You know, I'm actually hearing that Thames song, uh, Free My Mind. Is it called Free Mind uh, by Thames? Uh, so for some of you, they do want you to clear your head. Um, they do want for you to gain clarity or give them clarity, but they don't, they want you to be present, you know, this could be present for them. Or when you're around them. But yeah, they want for you to free your mind in some way. And when I was clarifying stuff, uh, the Eight of Swords kept uh, uh, like poking out of, but I, I wasn't really, you know, paying it any uh, mind. But yeah, for some of you, they could want you to free your mind in some way. Oh, okay. So we have here trauma. Not what I'm trying to see. So we have oh, trauma, 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 gosh. So yeah, this person really does want for you to heal trauma, okay? Or anything upsetting, um, harsh, and painful that you may have been through, okay? <clears throat> So we also have here insecure. What do they want from you? So I'm hearing they want you to be insecure about your future so that they can help you or support you or give you advice. But I want to make clear that they don't actually want you to be insecure though. But maybe they kind of just want you to be uncertain so that you could um, ask them for help. For some of you, I'm actually hearing they want you to help them to not feel insecure. So this could be offering them more reassurance, praise, recognition. Uh, so yeah, maybe they kind of want you to help free their mind as opposed to freeing your mind. Maybe they want you to help them heal their own trauma as opposed to healing your trauma. Or maybe it's a bit of a mutual energy, but uh, yeah, please just take it as it resonates though, okay? Um, but yeah. So we also have here, you are so fudging sexy. Why, thank you. No, I'm joking. So this person wants for you to know how gorgeous you are, how sexy you are. So, you know, for some of you, it could actually be like devastating in a way how attractive you are. And they want for you to know that. They want for you to own that, actually, Page of, um, page of Wands. They want you to be... I'm hearing they want you to be a Leo about it, about your source, you know. Um, I'm not saying like, you know, anything about Leos, but like the, you know, the confidence, the can't even explain it because it because i don't know anyways i'm just starting to waffle right now but yeah so yeah they want you to recognize how sexy you are so we also have here take the lead
So this person wants you to be assertive. They want you to be confident. It is in regards to this connection. I feel for some of you, it could be in regards to like as a whole. Uh, maybe even your goals, your passions, the things that you are passionate about. If this guy goes over the balcony again, oh my life. Oh my God, this guy. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so we also have here, I'm going to spoil the hell out of you. What do they want from you? So this person wants for you to allow them to spoil you, but at the same time, they want you to spoil them as well. So it could be like a bit of a mutual thing, maybe even spoiling each other in different ways, depending on your love languages I'm hearing. Um, so we also have here, I'm not really sure what love is or what it is supposed to feel like. So what do they want from you? Oh my god, I'm hearing this song. I haven't heard this song for so long, but you know, this. there's this song, I can't remember what it's called, but is it, is this love, is this love, is this love that I'm feeling? It could be Bob Marley. I'm not actually sure, to be honest, but anyway, that's the song that I'm hearing. And for some of you, it's like this person wants to know if, like, if their feels are actually feels, and, like, can you, like, affirm that for me, you know, if that makes sense. So, yeah, for some of you, what they want from you is... Maybe to give them clarity um, so that they can know that what they're feeling is actually what they're feeling. Anyways, I'm going to move on from that one because I don't want to confuse myself or you. <laughs> um, but yeah. They want for you to love them as well. I, I just want to say that. And we also have instant connection. So I'm actually here and they want you both to continue to build and adapt your connection and they understand that it would take uh, effort on both parts, you know. Um, I picked it up on the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, they could want that sort of prosperous outcome of you, that stability, that comfortability as well. Um, but yeah. So yeah, some of you, they felt an instant connection with you, but they want to develop it further, okay. Um, or kind of just see what it's all about because I've not felt this way before you know I'm not sure what it's supposed to feel like being in love right um, so for some of you they could just want to dive deeper into what that could mean um, for you both for them and uh, mutually and moving forward together okay and finally we have I'm trying to figure you out I feel like we were just saying that I'm not sure my brain's work anyways so <laughs> for some of you what what do they want from you they want to try and figure you out. Um, they could want you to give them the opportunity to figure you out as well. <laughs> they don't want you to be like this, you know. Look at this owl, that's hilarious. Like, would you want to figure this guy out? <laughs> but anyways, that is what I have for you. Uh, for those of you who chose this here group. Um, I'm wishing you all the absolute best on your journeys moving forward. I hope this reading could be helpful and please take care of yourselves okay bye why hello there if you chose this here crystal then this reading may be for you okay so the person on your mind what is it that they are wanting from you so the first card the first card we have it okay so the energy just feels okay anyways so so it is anyways Six of Cups upright, Seven of Wands upright, and the Page of Swords um, upright. So what is it that they want from you? Nice. So I feel like this person, they want you to remember the good times between you both. Um, I'm hearing this person say, like, let's bring life and focus to the good times that we shared together as well. Um, this person, they want your kindness. They want your friendship as well. Um, this person wants you both to protect and support each other. Um, this person wants you to be like more inquisitive about them. Like they could want you to inquire about them. This could be like straight, you know, from the source. <laughs> or maybe kind of just asking like their friends 
um, about them just so for some of you that like just so they can know that you're maybe somewhat interested in them um, or curious about them for some of you they just want you to be curious about them in in general um, or to find them like mysterious in in some way um, but in a way where you're kind of like I want to know more you know uh, this okay so for some of you this may sound a wee bit weird okay but if they haven't touched you yet then they hope you are soft and uh, smooth but for others of you this is in regards to them wanting you to be gentle with them or to take it easy on them this could be in a general sense or to, in regards to something more specific to your connection uh, if this resonates they want to be family with you or they want to have a family with you i guess it depends on who you're asking about you know um but yeah this person does have a desire to reconnect with you and they want for you to reconnect with them or be open to it but there is this kind of energy of like how things were you know maybe before a heartbreak for some of you because i did pick it up on the three of swords uh first oh but yeah okay so this person they want you to go back to the past or your past for some of you if this aligns uh you know with your situation with your intuition then they could want you to get back with an ex uh for some of you though <laughs> Oh my gosh, like I'm hearing, for some of you, I'm hearing this person say, uh, yes, I'm referring to myself, you know, so if any of you are just kind of asking that question, um, then this person is like, yeah, I am referring to myself, sorry to be a bit extra about it, but <laughs> um, yeah, so what this person wants from, from you is for you to tell them uh, what's on your mind, they want you to, you know, maybe share your feelings with them as well. I'm hearing they want you to stand up to a dominant male figure in your life or um, a dominant masculine presence in your life if it's not a man. Um, so I, I feel for some of you this person wants for you to challenge them. Um, this could, I feel like this is in a general sense like um, you know just for, for the for the banter of it I don't know maybe that's how this person likes to interact with people that whole you know back and forth like we're having an argument but we're not really having an argument like we're having a debate but um it's all love you know like this person could want that kind of like back and forth energy from you it's like I don't even care if you offend me right now you know just say what's on your mind my dude you know um so yeah this person also I feel wants for you to be demanding of them too um demanding and commanding okay <laughs> okay so for some of you yeah that's what they want from you um what they want from you they want to be the one to they want you to allow them to fight in your corner let me be the one to fight in your corner is what this person is saying So I'm hearing this person also say, what do they want from you? They want for you, um, for some of you, I'm hearing like they want for you to defend yourself in regards to them. Like I'm hearing this person say like, it's okay, you know, like this could be in a general sense, but others of you, it is their higher self speaking. Like you can be, you know, defensive of me. Maybe you have a right to be defensive of me or, you know, maybe be more assertive in regards to me. And really kind of standing your power when it comes to me uh this person could want that from you in a general sense or it could be their higher self talking um but yeah i'm hearing like it's okay you know don't worry about it um so what does this person want from you they want for you to be strong uh i feel like this is in a general sense almost like asking you to have faith or asking you to keep the faith and it may not even be about them it could be about something personal that you're dealing with or, you know, in regards to something else. For some of you, it is in regards to them. But they, yeah, they want you to stay strong. They want you to keep the faith. Oh, so what does this person want from you? They want you, oops. So they want you 
I'm hearing for some of you, they want you to stay or they want you to keep busy. This could be in regards to work for some of you. I'm hearing more, <laughs> more clients, more money. Uh, if any of you are self-employed, especially, or maybe if you're if your work is like dependent on um, like commission or something like that, they could want you to, you know, be busy uh, in terms of just, um, you know, you know, increasing your wealth, you know, whatever, like say you like being busy is a good thing. Okay. <laughs> if that's a good thing for, for you, then this person wants you to be busy, especially in regards to work, especially if you get so bored or your mind just travels to uncomfortable places when you're not busy, then this person could want you to be busy for those reasons too, okay? If that makes sense anyway. <laughs> um, for some of you, they worry about your energy. They worry about your actions when you are idle. Um, like for some of you, they, they are, are worried that you may hurt your own feelings, like when you're not busy or when you uh there's too much stillness in your life i'm not saying that you know for me personally like to you that's a good or a bad thing but in this person's perspective they they could have some worries around you being idle okay um so yeah i'm hearing for some of you this person could want for you to uh be possessive or territorial of them i'm hearing they want you want for you to rise above uh any pet any pettiness that you could be experiencing or could possibly experience moving forward. So I'm hearing for some of you, like they want you to delay the connection. <laughs> yeah, so that you can transform, uh, grow. I picked up on the judgment card. So for you to transform in some way, grow, overcome certain things, transcend, you know, kind of elevate. Um, I'm hearing for some of you maybe even manifest the, cha the changes that you need to manifest or the changes that are important to you um they definitely it's like if delaying this connection or you know delaying any plans that we may have together um would help in your growth then you know go for it you know this person wants you to do that um so i'm hearing what do they want from you they want you to speak up when you're feeling wronged this could be in regards to them, but it could also be in regards to a general sense. Oh, so I'm also hearing like ignore the gossip. Um, this person on your mind, they could want for you to ignore like any gossip you may hear, like come straight to the source if you need to. Um, this person also wants for you to talk to them more. Tell me more about yourself as well, please. <laughs> I'm also hearing this person wants for you to be patient with yourself too what do they want from you so we have life changing epiphany or experience it's a time of big and blessed change for you and god is supporting you each step of the way so what do they want from you Honestly, they just want you to keep making positive changes to your life, you know? For some of you, I'm hearing they want you to open yourself up to new experiences, whether that be in regards to them or in a general sense. And we also have here, uh, easy does it. Your health, happiness and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. So what do they want from you? So I'm hearing this person wants for you to focus, not focus more on your health, but they want you to take care of your health uh, specifically. So we also have here, I'm not financially stable. What do they want from you? So I feel for some of you, this person could either want you to wait for them as they find financial stability, ace of pentacles at the bottom, or they want for you to uh, manifest that for yourself you know if that resonates anyway so what do they want from you they want to taste every inch of that body okay <laughs> so yeah for some of you um what do they want from you 
Oh god. Yeah, they want they they yeah, they want to taste every inch of that body. They want to touch every inch of that body as well. I'm being quite frank. Um only if it resonates with your situation though. Oof. So we have here opportunists. What does this person want from you? So I'm hearing like this person wants you to be an opportunist, but for your own good, like not even in regards to them, like looking for opportunities in regards to them. I mean, if it resonates with your situation, but I feel for a lot of you, this is just being an opportunist in a general sense. Like if you see an opportunity, you know, take it like that's what this person wants for you or from you. No excuses. So yeah, this person doesn't want you to make excuses in regards to them. For some of you, I'm hearing this person doesn't want you to make excuses for them. Okay. So we have, I'm not even sorry. Okay, so what do they want from you? So they want for you to be unapologetic about what? Oops. About being busy. Um... So if any of you are like busy at the moment in your life, they want you to be un unapologetic about this energy. Um, for others of you, they want you to be unapologetic in regards to your, you know, your responsibilities. In, regard in regards to your work, in regards to your money, in regards to maybe finding balance and the time it would take for you to find balance. Um, but yes, okay. <laughs> what do they want from you? So we also have here, I judged you way too quickly. What do they want from you? So I'm hearing actually that this person wants you to know that they judge you way too quickly. I'm hearing this person say like I'm realizing I was wrong. Actually, it's not even I'm, you re I realized I was wrong. It's uh, it's more of a surprise. It's more of a nice surprise, maybe even for some of you. Like I'm hearing you're way more powerful than I thought you would be, um, but in a good way, you know like magical <laughs> so we have whipped cream plus your nip nips equals yummy <laughs> what do they want from you <laughs> look at that body <laughs> what else clarifying the devil came out so yeah um so yeah this person wants to get a wee bit kinky with you like maybe they are hoping you are open to the idea of that <laughs> So we also have here, I can feel you at a distance. What do they want from you? No, yeah, it's just that this person wants you to know that they can feel you from a distance. You know, if that does resonate for your situation, they want you to know that. So we have here, so pure yet so dirty and raw. So this person finds you edgy, but pure and innocent at the same time and sweet. They just wanted you to know that. For some of you, I really feel like this person's higher self is coming through this reading or maybe not. Um, you know, maybe this is who they are in the 3D as well. I don't know. But um, yeah, they want you to know that, even though that's not what we're asking about today. But yeah, <laughs> what do they want from you? So we also have here, I deserve better. So what do they want from you? So for some of you, I'm hearing like this person, they want you to understand or they want you to see that you deserve better, especially in regards to maybe a friend group. I'm hearing for some of you only take it if it resonates. So, OK. So we have here, you are thicker than a snicker and I love it. Wasn't that in a previous reading? Like, no, that's impossible. Anyway, so. show me your body <laughs> no, i'm joking no but for some of you seriously like they want for you um you know what i'm saying <laughs> okay let me be serious okay so for some of you this person loves your body um they could want to you know uh, see it in the flesh i'm hearing for some of you guys so we also have here dishonesty it's not really what i'm trying to see right now to be honest this person wants to... 
for some of you this person wants to give you clarity they want to maybe resolve any misconceptions so we also have here blah 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 yeah no more small talk that's what this person wants from you they want more in-depth conversations with you okay um we also have pillow talk so this person wants to be up all night talking to you as well uh, maybe they want for you to ask them for their number or to call them at night or maybe invite them over um you know have a bit of pillow talk chill you know enjoy each other's company and finally we have i don't know how this ish will end but i know that i want to try so for some of you it's like even though you may not be certain on the outcome here between you both this person wants for you both to re you know try regardless of knowing um how this will end between you both okay but yeah, for some of you, this is definitely the sentiments that they are holding towards you um, at this moment, okay? But that is all I have for you, though, for those of you who chose this group. I hope it could resonate uh, or make sense or be helpful in some way. But I'm wishing you all the absolute best on your journeys, right? Please take care of yourselves. Bye!